My name is Jessica Banks. I'm CEO and founder of Rock Paper Robot. We are a kinetic furniture company and also engineering and design firm. As technology becomes more infused into our products, they become a little bit more sterile. So I like to put the engineering and computation into things that still feel beautiful. Right now, much of our stuff is very mechanical, engineered, and passive or non-powered. Um, but we are moving into um, totally automated. We have some robotic chandeliers that respond to the environment and can change and are now even moving into like very highly automated and connected devices where your table and your chair and, and your environment could even prevent you from having RSI or back pain or even notice if you have a weird behavior that might be indicative of some other uh, issue. We just launched our new line uh, which is this Ollie collection and there are tables that slide down from the wall, can come out to any length and there are no rails or anything ugly on the wall behind it so there's, it doesn't you know, create an ugly environment when the table's in use and the whole surface can change so that you can constantly update it. So you could have whiteboard for schools or if you have a party, you want to switch it out. You can order new slats and, and we can send you different wood or a picture or take a picture of the wall that you want to hang it on and we'll and upload it and we can print it out so it's camouflaged when the table's flat against the wall. And then when you make a table that slides up the wall and disappears, you can't be left with a whole bunch of chairs in the room, which was pointed out to us when someone asked me what happens to the chairs, and I was like, I'll be right back. Uh, so we developed a line of chairs that uh, can collapse really quickly and easily. And um, we're going to do bar stools and chaise lounges, ottomans, everything. There's lumbar support, so it's comfy. I like to create a visceral response in people and that causes them to question and to feel wonder or feel, feel awe. And I think when you, when you create that kind of a response, you really also uh, imbue an indelible mark on someone and you change their neurons. And I think it can affect not only just like how someone appreciates one of the things I create, but how they also look at the world in general. And so, yes, questions, sure, but more like making new connections between things that maybe they hadn't thought of before. That's really like the beauty and, and where I get a, a lot of joy out of what I do.